Did you know you have the power to transform your health and your life? After years of suffering with undiagnosed autoimmune symptoms, I found myself on an endless loop of expensive supplements, broken promises, and drive through meals. I was a busy working mom struggling with chronic pain. I could no longer keep up with life until I decided to take my health into my own hands. I discovered the healing power of whole foods and incorporated a healthy lifestyle that is simple, affordable, and maintainable even when life gets busy. With easy, whole food meal prep, meal planning, and wellness strategies, I healed my autoimmune symptoms, regained my energy, and lost 30 pounds along the way. I discovered I had the power to change my life, and I know you have that power too. Whether you're looking to reduce inflammation, lose weight, or optimize your health, this is it. Get ready to discover the vibrant life you deserve with the Prepared for Wellness podcast. I'm Ashley Cavolo, and I can't wait to join you on this journey. Hey, you guys. Can you believe we are only 17 days away from Christmas? I'm sure some of you are feeling as crazy as I am right now. But despite the craziness, I do love spending this time of year with my kids. I love seeing the excitement on their little faces. But between Christmas, family life, and work, life is so hectic this time of year. And one tactic that saves me on most days is meal planning. After a busy day, it is so nice to come home to an easy meal. Meal planning for an entire family including kids, can seem impossible some days. And there are days when we can't even agree on a meal or someone is feeling picky. And if you're like me, most days I just want to have a healthy meal that I can feel good about eating. So here are a few of my strategies for easy family meal planning. So family favorite meals are top priority when I am planning my meals for the week. I create a list of the meals that I know my family loves. doesn't matter how long that list is. Uh, I know we typically have pasta night, tacos, baked chicken with veggies and rice, and in the colder months we'll do chili. Summer months we'll grill uh, and have salad or veggies on the side. And I try to have enough meals on this list so we can rotate through. That way we're not having the same meals every single week. And I love Pinterest for this. You can break down your Pinterest pages by category, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, to keep things organized. And I created a weekly menu page where I update the recipes each week that I plan to use for the weekly meal plan. So when you are choosing meals, the easiest route is to choose meals that work for everybody in your household. Utilize meals that don't require many swaps. Um, Some of my favorites are chili, and we usually use the crock pot for that. Broth-based soups, you can fill the soups with veggies and protein. Salads are super easy. We love veggie and protein bowls. I will add in cauliflower rice. My kids love to add regular rice. And baked or grilled protein and veggies is super simple to throw on a sheet pan or in the crock pot with just a little bit of chicken broth and those are super easy ideas that can be altered to fit anybody's taste but sometimes no matter what you do you will have a picky eater and it depends on the day some days my kids will eat anything other days they're super picky so i try to offer a few options for picky eaters And it can't hurt to have more than one veggie or healthy side with a meal. There are many times when my six-year-old will prefer to have a salad with her main dish, and my nine-year-old might choose to have two veggies on the side. Offering a little variety while ensuring everyone has vegetables on their plate is so much easier than forcing or begging. And not to mention, it adds nutrients and color and variety to your meals. I find with kids too, they love the opportunity to make a choice about what they are going to eat. And another simple tip, utilize your kitchen tools. Air fryers, crock pots, pressure cookers, they're all super helpful. They'll save you time, allow you to cook healthy meals easily. Crock pots are my go-to for busy nights. Air frying and baking, I save for the nights when we're home earlier. 
And my last tip is geared more towards moms, dads, caretakers. Sometimes you just want to have a meal that makes you feel good. And when the motivation strikes, simply take your list of family favorite meals and figure out some healthy swaps. You can make simple swaps for just about every meal to align with your health goals and to make the meal work for you. And here are a few of my favorite swaps for popular dinner nights. Uh, pasta night, I will substitute pasta with gluten-free pasta, zoodles, or spaghetti squash. I make zoodles with the easiest tool on the planet, the vegetti. You will have fresh zucchini noodles in under a minute, no joke. So if you visit the store tab on my website, preparedforwellness.com, you can check out the vegetti. It's super affordable. It's sturdy. I've had mine for probably two years now, and it's in perfect shape. Um, then taco night, which is my personal favorite. I substitute the taco shells for a salad. This will add a boost to nutrition. It will keep you fuller longer. You can pile on veggies such as diced peppers, onions, tomatoes, black beans, and avocado. And I also love the Nuco coconut wraps. They're low glycemic super clean ingredients. Um, I use those in place of taco shells, and that is also available on the store um, on my website. And for subs and grinders, this is super easy. You can make any sub into a salad. Simply slice up your meat, veggies, and top it on a salad. And that is one of the easiest swaps out there. Um, you can check out the Italian sub salad under the recipes tab on my website. That's a great example. Um, and again, you could use these Nuco coconut wraps I just mentioned for uh, bread replacement as well. <clears throat> and pizza night. This is one of the all-time favorite meals in our house. We might do pizza night once every weekend. Um, and I tend to indulge on pizza night but I'll have a slice with my family and then I'll serve it with a big salad on the side and that gives me some uh, nutrients, keeps me full and nourished um, while still feeling like I'm splurging. And then when it comes to rice, we have rice on a weekly basis in our house. My kids love rice with baked chicken and veggies or with their tacos. And when we have rice, I just make sure I have some cauliflower rice on hand. I'll cook a little bit of that on the side and I'll just replace regular rice with cauliflower rice. It keeps me from feeling bloated. Um, I feel amazing when I eat cauliflower rice, keeps me full. It's full of nutrients and it just makes me feel good. Uh, next is potatoes. Anytime we serve white potatoes, I make sure to have sweet potatoes on hand. I simply dice it up, bake it in the oven with a little sea salt, a little coconut oil, and it is delicious. So the takeaway is simply look ahead, make a plan, utilize your swaps when you feel motivation, and you will be well on your way to painless family weeknight meals. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope this episode helped you in your health journey and just maybe you learned something new. If you love this episode, please leave a review. When you do, you are helping this podcast reach others around the world. Visit my website, preparedforwellness.com to view my coaching offers, free recipes, and so much more. Don't forget to grab your free gift while you're there. Follow me on Instagram at Prepared for Wellness and join my VIP Facebook group, Prepared for Wellness Community. Don't miss out on the fun and special announcements.